Hi, my name is Matt Crowley and I am a product specialist here at Atlas Capco. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the Mechatronic kit and more specifically, how to connect a Mechatronic wrench to an MWR kit and how to update a Mechatronic wrench on an MWR kit. To see how to do this, we're going to have to jump into the web GUI and connect to our MWR kit, which we will do now. So to add a Mechatronic wrench and update a Mechatronic wrench on an MWR kit, we want to go into the web GUI and to access the web GUI of the MWR kit, we're going to want to click open our browser. In my case, I'm using Chrome, which I suggest you use as well if possible. And we just search the IP address of the service port that we are connected to, which is 169.254.1.1. Once we hit enter, it will bring us here to the web GUI for the MWR kit. Now, the first thing we want to do is we wanted to add a wrench to our Mechatronics kit. The great thing about it is it's very simple, and not only that, it's the first thing you see once you connect to the MWR kit. You can see here we have three different categories, selected tools, busy tools, and available tools. We can see that I do have one tool already connected to the MWR kit. If I wanted to remove this tool from the kit, I can simply just click remove and then unlink. And then it will be shown in available tools. However, if I wanted to add a new tool, it would show up in available, and to add a new tool, all you have to do is click select, and that will bring it back up to selected tools, and now that tool is connected and ready to be updated. So the next step in our process is we want to update the tool, so thankfully that is also very simple. All we do is click scan on the left-hand side, select the tool we want to update, and press configure. We can see here the serial number of the tool we want to update, and we can see it is selected to configure. And the next thing we want to look for is the tool firmware upload, which we can see down here. To actually update the firmware of the tool, we want to click upload, and it's going to ask us for two different files, an EMH file and a DAT file. We want to open these files from our software that we have. Once we open up our software file, we can see we have an EMH file here. We click open and we'll have a DAT file as well, and we click open. This EMH and this DAT file will be in the same file that the MWR kit firmware was also in. So that's where we will find these files. And if you want to upload the firmware after you have the two files here, you simply click upload, and it'll take a couple of minutes, and once you're done, you will see your new firmware level here, and in our case, we are on 441, which is the most up-to-date firmware available for the Mechatronic wrench. That concludes today's video of how to select and update a Mechatronic wrench on an MWR kit. If you have any further questions, please reach out to your local Atlas Copco representative, and thank you for watching.